tribulations, they feel strong for them. But when we put on the power of God, nothing will be too strong for you to confront. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that she may be able to withstand in what kind of day? In the evil day, this evil day, this perilous time, we are going to stand. Having done all to stand, stand therefore. Having your loins girt about the truth. And having on the best plate of righteousness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, we need this above all, beyond all. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench how many darts? How many darts? All the furry darts of the wicked, and taking the hel and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray, 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 pray always. You know there are people that have turned the retreat to a social affair. And they come in here, just, how are you? How are you? The retreat time is praying time. If you're going to have the power, if you're going to overcome, if you're going to be more than a conqueror, if what you expect after the retreat is going to be greater and higher than what you were before the retreat time, it's praying time during the retreat. Praying always. It's not a playing time. It's socializing time. Eating time. Just fellowship time. Praying. Because that's how sinners get saved. Seek the Lord. That's how believers get sanctified. Seek the Lord. That house, that is how sanctified people get baptized in the Holy Ghost. Seek the Lord. That's why those who are cowards in evangelism. That's how you become strengthened to evangelize. Seek the Lord. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And watching thereon too with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. We're going to do it. I said we're going to do it. We're going to pray according to the promises of the Lord that leads me to point number two, the manifold promises for the painful hour. Manifold promises for the painful hour. In Joshua chapter 1, Joshua chapter 1, reading from verse 5, Joshua was going to face some real challenging times. The people of Canaan did not want them to come into Canaan. And those Jericho walls were very high and very deep and very thick. And yet the Lord was giving them a great promise. They are going to go in and possess. Like we are going to go into the new year, we are going to possess. And if that is the case, we need to look at the promises of God and then pray in line according to you those promises of the Lord. Joshua chapter 1. Manifold promises for the painful hour, for the perilous hour. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. I thought you would give me a good, good amen. You know why people that slide, people who face them are stronger than them. You know why people turn their back on the Lord? Because the challenges they face, the river they want to swim through is too deep for them. And the Lord is saying, you will not backslide. I said the Lord is saying, you will not backslide. Because there shall not any man. Any man. And that's why some people in the village don't want to come to church. They are afraid of some men. 
some men of evil power, of occulty power. But the promise we have for you this end of the year and coming into the new year is that no herbalist will be able to stand before you. No occultic man will be able to stand before you. And you know why some people are so much afraid? They cannot serve the Lord. They cannot follow through on sound doctrine. Because there are some persecutors. There are some people that are searching them. If you go to that church, if you believe that Bible, if you take the totality of the word of God and you live like that, if you stand for what you to stand for, we're going to do this and this. And because they cannot stand before the enemy, that's why they're kicking out. Cowards. But thank God tonight, there shall no man, no man, I said no man, there shall no man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As your days, so will your strength be. Then it says, as I was with Moses, so will I be with you. Before the magicians, the Lord was with Moses. Before Pharaoh, the Lord was with Moses. Before the chariots of Egypt, when they were by the Red Sea, the Lord was with Moses. Before the Amalekites that came against them, the Lord was with Moses. And before Balaam, Balak, the false prophet, the Lord was with Moses. And the Lord was telling Joshua, you have nothing to fear. Because as I was with Moses, even so will I be with you. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people shall not divide from inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous. I will be strong. I said I will be strong. You know what, as I read this, I realize the Lord will say, you have the ability and the skill, the capacity to be strong. That's why I gave the command. The Lord never commands anything you cannot do. If the Lord knew you could not be strong, He will not tell you to be strong. If the Lord knew you could not be courageous, He will not tell you to be courageous. He knew you have the ability within you, the skill within you. And you have the mind within you. He knows that he's giving you enough grace, enough support, enough sustenance. That's why he says, with what you have, and with who you have, and with the faith you have, and the promises I've given you, be strong and be very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not for me to the right hand or to the left. Turn not for me to the right hand or to the left. You know, these are days when churches are modifying their doctrines. And we say it's a new period, 21st century. And we say, what our forefathers believed, we cannot believe that now. The way our forefathers live, we cannot live like that now. It's a time of modification. This is a period of mutilating the gospel. But the Lord is telling us, He says, I'm standing by you. And if I'm going to remain by you, you don't modify anything, or edit anything, or change anything. Don't turn to the right or to the left. Keep to the whole word of God, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. We're going to prosper. We're going to succeed, and nothing will make us cringe or fall back in Jesus' name. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have what kind of success? Good success. Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah chapter 41. 
I'm telling you that these are the days of his power. The days when the Lord himself is going to make every one of us that believe in him victorious. I search.